second proper expansion to Rattus was Rattus Africanus. I say proper expansion because there are promo cards and mini expansions that have been released as well. Rattus Africanus does change the game up quite a bit because it introduces opportunities to play with five or six players. We have a new board that we can add onto the existing board to allow for that. We have new components, new cubes for those players. Um, we have a new class, so we've got the Islamic class. Um, and several of these will interact with a deck of cards with different regions of the board on. Um, so there's a bunch of new ways to play, a lot of new components. This is in a box the same size as the original Rattus game, where the other expansions to Rattus are in smaller boxes because they have fewer components. Um, so there's a bunch of different reasons why you might choose to buy this expansion. One being increasing the player count, another being increasing the number of class cards, so we've got a new um, element of variety there, and then there's those region cards which add a, a layer of strategy to the game. So this is Rattus Africanus. We have an additional board here which slots on underneath the um, original board, so the original board up here, and these arrows point to show us which areas are adjacent. The reason we have this additional board is to allow for five or six players to play, so we've got more regions in the board to place. We've also got cubes, there are many more than this, I've just put out these ones on there to show you the colours, so we've got orange cubes and white cubes, and enough of each to allow for two more players in the game. We have some new tokens, so we've got this camel token, which is quite nice. Um, we've got these purple little discs, which act as diplomats. These are quite handy, um, maybe unnecessary, but they're quite nice addition. So these are little tokens you can put onto the class card. They just show that, because we're playing with more players now, when you're using the chivalry classes, um, if the plague piece moves, he, he can move three spaces rather than just two spaces with chivalry. So with a regular game you'd move one space with the plague, with chivalry you would move two spaces. But now with the chivalry class you can move three spaces. So you place this onto the class cards just to remind yourself. Um, but they're just a little reminder really. We've then got four new cards and these are of a new class which is the Islamic um, class and we've got four cards with this expansion. Um, and then finally, oh no, there is one other thing, but there is a deck of cards here, which are region cards. They name a region on the board and they have a couple of symbols on the top. I'll explain how they work in a minute. And then we have a complete new set of rat tokens, a whole new set, um, because they now include the symbol for the Islamic class on them as well. So these completely replace the previous set of tokens if you're gonna play with five or six players and if you're gonna use the Islamic classes. Um, so those are the components. So how does the game work? Well, these cards, firstly, um, each player starts the game with three of these in their hand. And what they do is at the end of the game, if you have a majority in the region written on here, then you're going to um, score one point. So they give you a little bit of strategy because I know now that I want to um, have the majority in this space at the end of the game and the other players don't know which space I'm after. So they give you that. They also can be spent, so discarded in the game, in order to save yourself losing a cube. So if one of my cubes was going to die as a result of a rat killing off magic uh, uh, characters, then I could discard this card and say, no, that one's not going to die. Or if it was a peasant card, what I can't do is use it for both. So these can be discarded to stop me losing cubes, or they can be saved for the end of the game to score me one additional point if I have a majority in that region. The cards are also used by a couple of the class um, cards. So you can see this card, this um, one uses cards, as does this one. So two of the four use these region cards during the game. The camel piece is also used by one of the class cards, so that's this guy here, he moves the camel piece around, and the diplomat tokens are used by this one. So each of the cards, the Islamic cards, is adding something new to the game. So let's talk about what those Islamic, Islamic card, um, class cards do. So this guy, he will add a diplomat underneath a cube on the board of his colour. Um, you can only have one diplomat per colour per region and at the end of the game the player with the most diplomats is going to score points and the person with the second most is also going to score some points. Um, the diplomats will die 
uh, with the cube. So if the cube is removed, the diplomat map will be re removed as well. So you're trying to get these onto the board and keep those particular cubes alive to the end of the game in order to score points. So that's him. The guy with the caravan. Um, what he will do is move this camel piece uh, and it will move two spaces. And what it will do is drop cubes onto the board in the spaces that it leaves from and that it moves to, but not the final space that it lands on. And it's going to only add a cube of the, um, of the player who has the majority in those regions. So it's not necessarily going to be adding your own cubes. It could add any colour cube. So you're going to want to be moving this through regions where you have the majority. The uh, this, this guy here, who is the astronomer, he lets you take three cards, choose one, and keep it. So he basically lets you gain additional cards to use for that endgame scoring or to protect your cubes. So you're gaining more of those region cards. And then you've got this guy here. Now what he does is lets you um, take three cards and you can choose one of them. So let's have a look. So if we take three, I can choose one of these regions here and I can place a cube onto that region. So that's what he does. He just basically lets you, gives you a little bit of power over where you're placing an additional cube. Now these region cards, um, there are problems. Okay, first thing is the writing is very hard to read. It doesn't show you where on the map you're looking for. So you're fishing around looking for the region um, to try and find where it is, which may not seem a major problem, but these regions are often covered with cubes and with additional pieces, the camel pieces, the rats, the, the extra pieces from the Pied Piper expansion maybe, the extra wooden pieces, it, with Mercatus in play as well, all those trading pieces are on there. So finding which region these are is a pain. This is not really very user-friendly, this stuff. The other thing is it makes not that much difference. This is not a game, Rattus has never been a game where strategy is its strongest suit and adding this little element of strategy to it, well, is really not enough to change the game to be strategic and so the points at the end of the round, well, they're not really worth the effort of um, explaining how the cards work and trying to use them and it's not a game that rewards strategy. So if you try and put in a lot of strategic thinking, then, um, then, then, you know, these aren't really going to pay off for you and that can result in a frustrating experience. So I'm not a huge fan of the region cards. Um, I guess I would use them sometimes to add a bit of variety into the game, but I don't think they're a huge success. Um, the addition of a new set of roll cards, uh, it's not a huge addition really. I mean, we had loads of different cards anyway from all the various different expansions. Um, I suppose what it does do is it, it means that when you're playing with, because if you're playing with five or six players, you're adding additional class cards. Instead of just playing with six class cards, you're playing with um, more. I believe it's uh, I believe it's eight now. Um, I may be wrong about that. I'm, I, I'm trying to have a quick look. But anyway, you're certainly playing with more of the class cards than, uh, than you would in the basic game. So I suppose having additional classes there uh, means that you're not so vulnerable to those rats going off and killing uh, a great number of your cubes in one go. So they're beneficial in that way. Um, as with all the Rattus products, the artwork is lovely, the components are nice and thick, everything's of a very good quality and has a really lovely feel about it. Um, and that is Rattus's real strength, is the feel rather than strategic options and that sort of thing. It's all about this feel of um, uh, this sort of uh, black plague going around this this world in the sort of 1300s. Um, and, and the artwork really helps with that. The lovely board, the lovely uh, pieces. Um, it's all a very tactile, it's a, it's a nice, lightly handled um, game. And, and, and I like that. So trying to add strategy in just feels a little wrong. For me, um, Rattus Africanus is not the best expansion for Rattus. Um, it's not a great expansion. It's, uh, I would recommend that you get it if you want to play with five or six players. Um, I think otherwise, no, I don't think I'd bother with it. Um, the additional class cards are fine, but there's loads of those in the other expansions anyway. Um, the region cards, well, not that fussed on those really. Um, but playing it with five or six players, it's nice to have that option. That said, the game slows down with five or six players 
can take quite a long time to come back round to your turn as players think about what they want to do. And as I've said previously, this is not a game that rewards great strategy. So you can spend a long time thinking about your turn, and then what you actually find is that it makes very little difference in the long run. Um, and that can be very frustrating for players who, who really think, I'm really sure about this, and then it doesn't pay off because there's so much randomness in the game. So by increasing the player count to five or six, we've lengthened the game, and it just makes that sort of... Um, lack of reward, all the more noticeable. Um, so it's not. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't want to play with five or six too often. I think it's a game that really four is a nice number for it. It keeps the game running quickly, but it still allows for plenty of interaction. Um, so Africanus is not an essential expansion, but if you want five or six players, you're going to have to go for this one. You certainly get plenty for your money, and it adds a lot of nice variety, as all the expansions do. Um, so that is Ratus Africanus.